Hi, I'm Andrew Christopher Young, and this piece that I'm going to play is called Keeping the Flow in Five. So, do enjoy. <laughs> What I'm going to explain now is how I came up with the piece. So the first part of it that I started off with was the intro. So these are the cards that I play. Um, so this is A flat, BJ 11, F sharp, BJ 11. So what I did was I played um, a 5 eighths groove. So the groove is like this. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
One, two, three, four, five. 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 So the next part that I'll play in the intro is a melody. So the melody would be like this. The phrase, not the melody, the phrase. So here's what I play. So I'm going to put two hands together. So what you have to understand is when you play, you have to know where the one is and the five. So some people might confuse it maybe with a four fours or maybe other time signatures, but odd time signatures is also used in simple time signatures and it can use also compound time signatures. So the next part I'm going to play is the melody now and the bass line. So the A section, that will be the verse. So now, the next part I'm going to play is the bridge. So I'm going to use the bass, my left hand, and my right hand together. So after I've done everything, play the introduction, um, the, the melody with the bass line, and then you play the phrase with the bass line, then what I can do now is then I start to solo. So, I mean, the thing is about it, you know, when you solo, you don't have to, don't think about it. Just let it be spontaneous in whatever you're doing. So let me just do a solo in what I'm doing. So what I was doing now, I was freestyling. So what I'm going to do now is to play over back the whole thing and so that you so that you can understand the concepts of what I was explaining to you all. 
All right, so let me play it over one more time. So intro. section don't think about it have it you know the concepts and the ideas of how i came up with this song so remember whenever you start playing it might sound simple it might look simple but it's not as simple as how you think it is so everything that i'm doing on the organ is just practice um like i say you understand the draw bar so what i do is that i use different tones from each draw bars and you know playing this organ means that at the end of the day you you have to have fun with it you know you know you understand the percussions you understand the effects um you understand how to to express yourself understand the expression pedal you know so there you have it you know um in terms of my concepts of being a complete musician this is how you go about it you know um you know you understand even when i'm playing the song the intro of the song the a section that's the verse the bridge 
that's the b section and then after those sections then you can solo you know and you improvise you know don't think about it so much i mean what i've been playing i didn't think about it it's just something that is spontaneous because there's a difference between being spontaneous or playing a spontaneous solo and playing a solo that is prepared a prepared solo is when you just sit down you transcribe and you listen to um the, the um the cd or or um you go on youtube and you listen to how they solo and then transcribing the solo meaning that you have to learn the transcribe solo note for note because when you transcribe you can't just learn the solo like that in one go you have to just learn it in stages so even what i'm doing before i started to play i had to just take everything in stages to get the full result of what i'm playing i'm going to share some points with you about what makes a complete musician all right the first top first point i'm going to talk about is our attitude and our attitude is very important towards the music meaning that we have to have humility um how we carry ourselves as musicians meaning you know we dress properly for events you know and concerts our shows you know and also to have character and integrity in whatever you're doing so one of the things i've learned also is the principle of being a musician you know also to be on time you know a lot of musicians miss out on certain things because of um the right the wrong attitude at times that can hold you back as a complete musician so what i've always learned is you know everything that i say um is very important and it's very valid you know to being that complete musician and you see our attitude is one of the most important thing having the right attitude all right the next point i'm going to make is the skills and ability um some people were born with are born with the raw talent you know some people they just go on their instrument and uh, when they play they just start to play and those are people they call um geniuses and prodigies and you have other people with, with talent as well who might have to work as twice as hard but none of that don't really matter i mean once you have the skill you know you nurture it and develop it and the thing about it we need teachers to also nurture the gifts and the talents so what i've learned is that having that guidance will bring out the best out of that individual individual whether they are genius or prodigy and where they have the, the the talent yeah so the next um point i'm going to make is also the spiritual side of the music spiritual side is about having a relationship with god and when you have the relationship with god that makes a difference in terms of staying in the word you know having having an encounter with god and it means that when you have an encounter and stay in the word then you will play fluently you will practice fluently you will understand that when you put god first in whatever you're doing it makes you that complete musician and then not only that this the creative ideas and um the inspiration from god will start to activate all right the next point i'm going to make is about networking so you have to it's good to network and connect with other musicians especially in the business because we have to know the legal aspects of the music business you know what i've learned is um you have to 
um, sign even a contract before you even sign a contract. You know, you have to first read it, you know, before you sign, you know, take it to your lawyer or to your manager. And also um, understand that you value other people in the business who are more experienced than you because they have a wide range of knowledge and wisdom. And you see, a lot of young musicians, you know, they tend to kind of shun the older musicians, you know, because they think they know, but they really don't know everything. So it's good to also hang around people who have gone before you. All right. The next topic will be good work ethic. It is important to prepare as a musician, whether in a group or you know you practice individually so i believe that you have to practice makes in practice makes perfect you know if you're practicing with a group for a show you have to rehearse properly you understand too many musicians and i have to make these points too many musicians um nowadays they tend to want to hurry come up they don't want to rehearse and sometimes when you hear some bands out there they don't sound good because of poor rehearsal and it's all about com commitment and you know dedicating yourself to your passion and you know it's also enjoying what you do and um understanding that this is what you love this is what you're called to do and if this is what you're called to do then you have to put a lot of work into what you're doing and the last point is knowing the aspects of the business you know there's it means that you know you have to do some negotiating you know um when you're working with people i mean when when you charge a price i mean you have to learn to stand on on what you charge you know don't allow anybody to um short change you in the business you know and always ask for advice in whatever you are doing